There's a great deal of focus on foreign policy. As you know, at the moment, President Obama has seen his approval ratings decline as the public watches developments in Iraq, Syria, and Ukraine. Polls indicate that Americans are tired of the wars in in Iraq and Afghanistan and are leery of U.S. military involvement overseas. But polls also show Americans want to see the United States remain a leader on the world stage. What do you see as the challenges the U.S. faces in seeking to remain a preeminent superpower while at the same time being careful, you know, about foreign military deployments? Well, it's, you know, it's a very important question, and I think it gets to the heart of where we stand today um, with respect to the gridlock and the hyperpartisanship and the political environment which we, you know, find ourselves because so often the world does look to the United States and how we address our problems, uh, that we've been viewed as a leader in terms of the way we make decisions on the issues that we tackle. And so it's, a, it's regrettable given the dimensions of the problems we're facing, you know, particularly now in, in what's happening and unfolding in the Middle East, that we're not having those kind of conversations between, you know, Congress and the President and on a bipartisan basis uh, to work through uh, these issues and how we want to position the United States in response to these critical issues. I mean, I think that this is unfortunately one of the consequences of the failure for both sides to work together and for both branches of government. Uh, because we know that we have been viewed as a leader in the, in, in the past in the way we address both domestic and international issues. And this is not consistent with who we are. And so I think more than anything else, uh, it's important, I think, for the leadership in Congress to understand that, for the president to understand that. And somehow they're going to get back to the table, talking to one another, and to grapple with these key issues that are unfolding before our very eyes and are moving more quickly. Uh, You know, these events are taking hold very quickly, and therefore it does, I think, compel them to be sitting down and talking to one another. Uh, rather than just ignoring, uh, you know, these uh, critical issues and let them happen without having a position that's important and consistent with our security interests and, and our national goals.